Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine reporting to you from the annual convention of the American Pistachio Growers in Palm Desert. One of the, the things they announced this year was the fact that they have a record amount of, of plantings for uh, pistachio orchards. There's a lot of new acreage going in mm -hmm. and one of the things that they're going to be needing to look out for at least in the first several months to year is, is some, some key pests. Sure. And I've got David Haviland from the UC Cooperative Extension based in Kern County, an entomologist, to, to address some of those issues. Yeah, no, it's it's interesting when you talk to pistachio growers or go to any pistachio conference, you're going to hear navel orange room, navel orange room, navel orange room. You're going to hear about leaf-footed bugs. You're going to hear about stink bugs. You, know, you, you keep hearing about all these pests. And frankly, all those pests are irrelevant for a baby tree. You know, there's no nuts, so so you don't care. And so there's a lot of, not a lot, but there's there's some growers that sort of have this impression that, hey, I just plant my trees, and then once I get five or six or seven years old, I'll worry about something like navel orange room. Um, don't get lulled to sleep because uh, there are some pests of baby trees. And in particular, when you, uh, you know, the stage after your rootstock's established, you come in and you bud the trees, you have a very tender, sensitive bud right there that's going to be your tree. And you really have to watch out to make sure that bud's protected. And so, you know, if something like a grasshopper, uh, so there's some beetle species, grasshoppers, types of things that can come and can feed on that newly developing bud, you know, just particularly during that first month or two right after it's been grafted. Um, so monitor those trees closely, make sure they're not there. Um, if you do start seeing some of these buds being attacked, you need to do something about it. Uh, you can consult the University of California's, you know, guidelines, uh, the pest management guidelines online for what to do about it. And then in the next couple of years, um, after that young tree is established, false chinch bug tends to be the biggest issue. It's a uh, spring pest. It feeds on broadleafs out in you know, pastures and weedy areas, but they'll mass migrate in by the millions sometimes and climb up in the tree. And they have a straw-like mouth part. They inject that into the tree, suck plant juices, but in the process, they inject a toxin. And so if there's too much of that toxin in a young tree, it can actually kill the tree um, and you have to start over. So nobody wants to do that. Uh, other thing to really watch out for is that particular pest loves tubes. So anytime you've got a carton or a tube on the pistachio tree, you know, protect the trunk, helps with your herbicide programs. Sometimes they'll hide in there, you don't really notice them, and then they'll, they'll come up and feed on the, the plant at night. And you'll see, you know, first a wilted tree and then a, a dying or dead tree. So watch out for those. If you see them, take care of them. But, you know, outside of those few pests, if you take care of them, pest management wise, you're in pretty good shape until you start actually bearing a crop. Now, if you got if they're hiding in the tube, how are you going to manage that? Yeah, no, some people will uh, will spray products down a tube if you go the insecticide route. Um, some people actually remove the tubes um, just to be able to get better control. Uh, the other thing to watch out for is the common tail is that this uh, false chinch bug likes to be in the shade. And so if you'll have weeds in the orchard, sometimes what will happen is you get weeds down the middles, they've got the false chinch bugs underneath them, and then the grower goes, grower goes through and kills all the weeds. So. I'm all for killing weeds, but if you kill all those weeds kind of at the wrong time, those bugs no longer have a place to hide underneath them, and now they move over to your tree. Um, so you can actually sort of flush them from the weeds to the tree and, and make things worse. Uh, in that case, you're better off to sort of spray or do something about them while they're still in the weeds before you get rid of their shade and drive them to the tree. Great. Yeah, <laughs> that's, no, that's pretty complex. No, yeah, no, and the other thing about it is it is migratory. Uh, they don't typically fly a whole lot. So you don't see a whole orchard with it. Um, you'll see it migrate in from the edge with a, a pasture or with a grassy area. So watch those edges closely. A lot of times you can have very aggressive treatment only in a couple rows or the edge of an orchard and protect the whole an orchard just with that edge treatment. Um, that's definitely advisable because once you've got it throughout the whole orchard, now you've got a much more difficult situation. Great. Well, thank you, David. That, that's some great information. Uh, read more about these things in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. And be sure to, to thank our, our video news sponsor, Jordy Nursery, for their support. Contact them and thank them for, for their support. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.